Right. Now on 12 News Midday, the holidays are nearing and that means the season of gift giving not far behind. Some people probably already starting and you probably already have some great gifts in mind, whether that means shopping in store or online. But if you're shopping online, you want to be very careful with your information. That is why we have social media expert Marcy Thornhill here with us on this midday. So, yeah. all right, let's talk about this. So I'm getting ready to do my shopping online and getting out there and doing so what are some of the big things that I should be watching out for first and foremost yes so this is the season we are all shopping online I'm looking forward to it myself um, but I want to be safe so yep. the first thing I want everyone to consider is the use of virtual credit cards and what is that so that's something that's offered either by your credit card company or your bank and it pretty much gives you a short-term credit card number to use oh. so you can use it to log into some of the apps the online stores to make your purchase but it's not your official credit card gotcha. so it does it reduces the the likelihood that one you can be hacked because the credit card number goes away Wow yeah and a lot of people don't know about that so if you log into your apps for your credit cards you may see a virtual card that number may not match your physical card that's in your hand uh, talk to me too about this I mean if I go online I'm googling a specific item and a bunch of websites pop up that are offering that that item how do I know where I'm clicking is the right place or a or a good place to be clicking. So one of the things to look at is the HTTP in your URL. HTTPS means that it's secure. It's a firewall between that that store and your device. So it puts an extra layer of protection. So that's one of the first things to look for. Secondly is legitimate links. If you're shopping online for some Nike tennis shoes and you come up on a website that says sneakers.com, you may want to pause because that may not be the legitimate Nike site. And also look at the URLs. Sometimes they'll add one extra character to the URL. And if you're not paying attention, you may click it thinking it's the actual site when it's really not. So I find the website, I think it's legit, I, I put something in my car, I go to checkout now. What are some of the do's and don'ts when I get to that point? I mean, should I be storing my card or my computer in their program, whatever they have on the cloud somewhere? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> so I always suggest that you do not store credit cards. It's very easy for us to shop. We're like, okay, my car is there. I can just click and go. And I've had that happen to me where I have stored a credit card. I put things in my cart and then the box shows up at my house. <laughs> Somehow it processed. So just err on the side of caution. One, don't store your credit card number all over the place. Um, keep it close to you. Only use it one time. Um, check your Google credit card listing when you go into your Google because it will also store credit cards mm -hmm. and you can see the list of all the cards you've ever used. You may want to clean that up and delete some of those cards. And I'm going to go one other thing too. I've, I've noticed uh, in my email inbox a lot of advertisements coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, some legit, some mm -hmm. not legit. So I mean as we're going through our email boxes this holiday season and we see something enticing to click on because it might be a good deal or sale, what do you what do you tell us about that? So don't click on the links if you have any concern or question. If it's something you're expecting, absolutely I think you'll be safer to do that. But if you're not expecting it because we will get in I mean and just an influx oh, yes. of links. Go to the actual site itself. So if it's coming from a store site like a Macy's and you see all these different links and you're constantly getting emails, pause for a moment, look at the URL, don't click on it, but actually go to the Macy's site, open it up, and if you're looking for that sale item that's in your email, how about just grabbing the description, taking it to the Macy's site, pasting it in their search bar, then you may be able to find it that way. That kind of keeps you a little safer. Mm -hmm. Lots of good tips to know Lots, as we yeah. uh, em, em, embark on uh, our online shopping this holiday season. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing those tips with us yes, today. Yes, absolutely. Thank Appreciate you. It. Time now for weather.